morning, Quadcopter 101. And before we get started, let me get my shout out of the way. Today's shout out is goes to Bryce Lassiter. He was the first to say first in one of my recent videos and thus get, wins a shout out. So congratulations, Bryce Lassiter. So what do I got for you today? Today is the second flight of the DJI Rise Tello. What I'm going to do today, if you notice this thing I got here in my right hand here, this is a Wi-Fi repeater amplifier by me. Now this is different than most other Wi-Fi repeaters in this in that this one here that they put that me puts out for about 10 bucks <laughs> includes uh, dual antennas inside for uh, diversity reception along with amplifier system so it it the signal it receives it amplifies it before repeating and sending out that signal so it has a stronger signal output than your which usually does than most phones you know so that's the advantage of this what that means is you can have both good FPV reception, longer distance FPV reception, theoretically, along with longer control range because of the uh, higher power output from this. And that's what I want to do today, folks. I want to actually try to quantify what that uh, distances are, you know, how much more range can we get. I'm going to fly, do a first fly out around the area here uh, until I lose signal. FPV signal and then control signal to the of the quadcopter. Hopefully, the, I don't actually know what the quadcopter does when it loses its control signal. I hope that it just stops in place and maintains position, uh, but we'll find out here shortly. And then I'm going to do a follow-on flight using the repeater uh, and seeing if we can get any improvements in range. So, hope you enjoy these flights. Okay, this is the Mobizen, or not, I'm sorry, this is the Tello app being recorded by Mobizen. And I'm going to hit record right now to record the video. And we're going to take off and slide to take off. Now, I got a bit of a wind today. We're going to see how well the Tello works, operates in the wind. As you can see, it flew a little bit that way before uh, setting itself. But that was from fighting the wind. And I'm going to come to the right a bit. Now, we got a goal post on there. Not a goal post, a light post. And uh, before I came out here, I measured the distances of these light posts. The first one there is 32 meters away, and the second one is 78 meters away. Along with that goal post over there is also 78 meters away. So the first thing we're going to do is see if can we make it to the 32 meter goal post. And what range do we lose signal? I've lost signal already, FPV signal. Okay, it came back in again. Going a little bit further out. A little bit further out. Coming down a little bit further, too. I don't like being up that high. Right about there. I want to be at eye level while I do this. So right now, we are getting close to that goalpost. We're almost there, I believe. Going further, further, further. I got control range. And right now, vision positioning system may fail in high wind. <laughs> so we, it's detecting that it, I got wind there. Weak Wi-Fi signal. Fly closer to your mobile device. Coming down a little bit lower. We got a weak signal out there. Going a little further out. Strong Wi-Fi interference. We're losing Wi-Fi signal. I still got uh, reception though. So we are well past that first post. So I know we got, there's that post there. We're almost, we're about halfway between the two, I'd say the second post actually let me fly toward that second post going toward it going toward it it's getting real choppy out there but strong wireless <laughs> my fighter fears and it's not oh so um actually it made it to that second post but it's very choppy i'm going to put my glasses on right now so i can see it see the drone oh okay I see it now but I'm trying to go a little farther to that post stopping right there and I think we lost Wi-Fi FPV at that range here I'm saying that's about 70 meters out you know I'm almost at that post so I'm gonna see if I can turn around no nope, it's just holding its position there so I'm gonna get a little closer and try to bring it back and looking at what am I looking at here turn to the right see if I can push forward bring it back toward me and this time we'll go over to this second goal post off in that direction that one there is also 78 meters away 
see if I can make it to the second goal post or not goal post a light post yeah let me adjust my there we go so I can fly more directly to it and going forward again heading toward the post and will we make it 78 meters is still going forward Whoa! I better stop there before I hit the post <laughs> okay so uh, we have we Wi-Fi um, actually I don't have any Wi-Fi signal anymore so we, we see that our FPV reception range is about 70 meters I'm gonna get closer so that I can see it I'm trying to bring it back toward me pushing forward and we're gonna call it quits at this point here as soon as I get it going toward me okay it's coming back toward me now and we're gonna plop in the Wi-Fi repeater and see if we can get improved reception if we see less of those Wi-Fi warning signals while it's flying bringing it back and coming back it's got a tailwind behind it right now <laughs> pushing it around so that was a good flight actually I was surprised at the distance it was able to achieve uh, and I'm gonna hit uh, landing and I want to do a hand landing and put my hand underneath Oh, I gotta hit confirm, and then put my hand underneath and catch it. Okay, we're gonna continue next with the Wi-Fi repeater, so let's try that next. Now, last night, before I came out here, okay, let me hit the stop on this video here, and I'm gonna have to disconnect the Wi-Fi. But last night, before I came out here, I ran the Mi Home app to connect the drone to the repeater and the repeater after you run the me home app one time the repeater will remember that uh, connection so that when you come out into the field like this you don't need to do anything other than plug in the uh, repeater to its power source which is what I got here there is a uh, a uh, power bank so right now I'm going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi disconnect it and we'll connect it to connect the repeater now the way I do it all we got to do since I did this at home last night is plug this into the power source and we're gonna look for a blue light to come on right now it's a yellow light but that yellow light is should switch to blue meaning that this repeater is connected to the uh, drones Wi-Fi and we got the blue light right now so we are connected ready to go now I need to find a place to prop this up Okay, I propped it up in my box of quads here. So now I'm going to connect my phone to the repeater, not to the drone. I'm going to connect it to the repeater, and the repeater will connect to the drone. Okay, I'm connected to the repeater, and again, the repeater is connected to the drone. So we can start off now. Uh, right now, it's run the connection is running this route, back and forth between the repeater and the drone. And the repeater, again, supposedly has a amplifier that would uh, amplify the signal going to the drone and also better receiver system we'll see if that is actually true and for this particular flight again we're gonna go out straight and see if I first can make it to the uh, first light post and then when do I start losing Wi-Fi reception as my next question going up a little bit higher too Okay, made it past the first second or first light post okay it's starting to get a little bit choppy but no I still got some reception getting closer to the second goal post or light post I'm gonna go sideways to get toward it flying FPV straight from the phone no problem at all making it to that second goal post or second light post I'm plopping it right there we should be right by the second light post turning it Turning it, okay, okay, right there. So I made it to the second light post with no issues at all, quickly and easily. Um, yes, that Wi-Fi repeater does improve the reception. Let's go across the field now. Actually, 
There's people over where I want to go, but we'll head that way for now. And we'll come toward me. We'll come back toward me, and then we'll go diagonally toward that. So coming straight back, excellent reception. It's working very well, this repeater, with the Mi Home. Or the Mi, uh, rep the repeater's working very well with the Tello, in effect. So turning back toward me. Seeing if I can get it coming directly toward me. How's my battery power? Battery power at 53%. Coming straight at me. So, that worked well. Now, let's see if I can go out to that third goal post, or third light post. Turning it, turning it. And pushing forward. Wait, turning it. That third light post out there is a distance of 150 meters away. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it make it to that. Going out, going out, Bond. See if it can make 150 meters. Okay, I'm starting to get a little choppy there. I'm going to go up a little bit higher, see if that helps improve the reception. And going out again. Up on again. That's 157 meters away, folks, that light post. And it easily, easily makes it to there. I'm stopping right there. I forgot to hit record. <laughs> but there we are at 157 meters away. Going a little closer, a little closer. And again, I'm going to turn it around now. Turn it back toward me from way out there. Back toward me. I overshot. Okay, I'm going to turn to the right a bit. Coming back. There we go. Coming back toward me. To the left, turning left. Turning left. Okay, I see myself. So, yes, the Wi Fi repeater works very well in extending the range of that little drone. So, I'm going to bring it back. We're going to call it quits here, folks. Turning, turning to the left, turning to the left, and there it is, drone returning. <laughs> so, my thoughts overall on this Wi-Fi repeater works very well, very well indeed with this little drone. Uh, so, if you're, if you're disappointed with the range that you're getting, if you're disappointed, consider getting yourself one of these cheap Wi-Fi repeaters, $10, and uh, well, another $10 for the power bank that goes with it. But it will extend the range, make your little Tello fly amazing distances for such a little thing. So, this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Let me land first. Hand landing. I like the hand landings on this thing. Confirm. Put my hand underneath. And it's Quadcopter 101. Signing out. <laughs>